What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Grow Family Network. Today what I'm going to show you how to make is Louisiana fire water. That's what I call it. Um, and basically it's just peppers of your choosing, your choice. And then you can like season. I use apple cider vinegar. But then you can kind of like season your apple cider vinegar and your pepper. I use like salt, turmeric. And, and how I come up with my own, I guess, recipe is... I just go in the store, look on the back of a hot sauce bottle, and look at look what's in it. It's aged peppers, salt, and vinegar. So that makes it easy. Um, a lot of times when you see tutorial videos, it's kind of like a, if you don't have those ingredients they have, they don't really tell you, hey, you don't need to use this stuff. So that's what I'm going to show you today, and I'm going to tell you all about all the other stuff you can put in. Basically, is whatever you want to put in and you're gonna be able to make hot sauce. Um, what we're using today, because we got a storm coming in, I'm actually not ready to do this video. So what I'm gonna do is today I'm gonna do the picking and then another day once I finish kind of prepping up the yard for the storm, uh, we'll come back maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow. I'll bring y'all inside the kitchen and we'll actually make this stuff together. So I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit. I've already told Irene not to touch, not to touch because they're super hot. But she's going to hold my bucket for me and I'm going to pick these. These are ghost peppers. And you may think like, uh, that's a little too hot for me. Trust me, I'm not a, I'm not a pepper eater. Even though I've, I've started like I kind of can saute some chicken breast with these, but I'm not a real pepper eater. Um, but what I, Oh, that scared the daylights out of me. <laughs> uh, so even though I'm not a real hot pepper eater, I, I've i actually learned that making the hot sauce, you don't need to just pour a whole bunch of hot sauce. Yeah, we're gonna leave those. We're gonna leave, we're just taking all the reds. So you don't need to pour a lot. Once you make this mixture, sometimes, man, just a one little drop in your bowl is going to give you all that flavor and it's going to give you that heat what i what i'm done with growing peppers is we don't really use a lot of peppers during the summer months because it's kind of too hot to eat hot hot stuff but boy when the winter comes you outside you can make your bowl of soup the weather's kicking on now you can make your bowl of soup and you put your drop or two three four five the more you eat the more you'll be able to tolerate you talking about some good flavor flavor that you haven't really experienced like right now just just thinking about making the hot sauce or the the, the, the fire water like my mouth like you know like all this stuff is like building up because my my body is like getting ready like okay we about to get some of this stuff for our the enzymes and, and everything that that it helps your your gut inside your body your body knows what it's about to get and and pepper is a, a part of your diet you got to get some of this stuff in i believe that was a little orange I believe you gotta get some of this stuff in. The amount, hey, you gotta, you probably gotta, you know, put your amount down to here until you can tolerate it. But the more of this stuff you kind of eat and figure out different ways to get it into your diet, the better it'll be. So I got one more right here. I'm gonna finish getting this one off and then I'm gonna bring you over to our habanero. So let me get to picking on this one. When I'm done, we'll go next door. Look at that one. Wow. All right, so now we're at our habanero pepper. And what I want to tell you about peppers, to pick them, you don't really need, I mean, as far as me, I don't want to say what you don't need. If you want to put gloves on, you can. If you're out with children, you probably want to get them some gloves because they don't understand if you squeeze this, that's when you open it up. So you don't want to open this up. As long as it's like this and I'm just touching the outside of it, then I don't have any pepper on my hand, but if you start to cut this at all and you cut into this part, if you do anything like that, it opens up the spice and you don't want that on your hands. Uh, also working inside, 
make sure you got a blender that's covered really good and from last year when I did this find you some kind of mask because the the fumes that come off of this stuff it got actually got into my chest in my lung area and you talk about burns for days so you don't want to do that so I'm gonna go ahead on and get these Huh? Yeah. See some orange ones? Okay. Alright. I'll give them. Alright, so. So this is the difference. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this. Now, if you wanna just make, uh, if you wanna just make, don't pull it, don't pull it, don't pull it. You can't, you gotta listen. I gotta cut it off. You pull it off, you gonna mess yourself up. So, if you wanna just make the ghost pepper hot sauce, you can just do that. Um, if you want to, I mean, yeah, and if you want to just make the habanero hot sauce, you can also just do that. What I like to do is I like to mix mine because I'm not really uh, picky about about the actual pepper and what it is. I just really want to get the spice and I'd rather kind of mix it in together. I'm um, not really like, oh, I just want to, I don't like the taste of habanero. I just like the taste of ghost pepper. It's just hot pepper to me. Uh, so actually... If I wanted to, when these were reddened up, we can actually, these are Tabasco. I'm a mixer. I'm a mixing type. I like to mix certain things, and that's what I'm going to do with this. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to bring you inside. I don't know when, but I'm going to bring you inside. I'm going to show you how we get these from uh, actual to raw peppers, all the way down to just straight liquid hot sauce or fire water. Catches. Or just hang around, hang around. It's gonna be in the same video. No part one, part two. Same video. We're gonna be right back. Give me a second or maybe a day. And I'll show you how to do this. One second. I'm gonna show you how we actually start. You saw us picking the pepper. So we go from having just the regular peppers. We don't do anything to process these. I mean, besides cleaning them off. Next step, what you want to do is, I'll show you what we use. And this is how it looks. This is like first stage up here. Um, basically, we just take the peppers, you put them in a jar. You can use, and I'll show you Bev's one. You can use garlic, uh, turmeric, which is what I already have in here. Um, and vinegar, salt that's about it this is all we use now you can kind of season it how you want to but it's pepper sauce so it's no real seasoning besides maybe some garlic maybe some turmeric i wouldn't get into like putting the onions and all that too much stuff uh kind of adds too much to it um so basically this is only ghost peppers habanero peppers you see some little i hope you can see them and block that but it's some little tabasco peppers in there if you see me spinning around like I say, this is mine. I didn't add any garlic to mine. And all we're going to do is put this in a blender processor and get all this stuff blended up. Um, so like I said, this has actually been sitting in here for a while. What you want to do when you put this mix, let it sit for a few weeks in your pantry. Just put it up in your cabinet. Let it sit for a few weeks. Let that vinegar soak up all the goodness, all of the spice. And then we're going to blend it down so we can make this into this and I'm almost out uh, so what I'm gonna do is first what I'm gonna show you is how to get these bottles not for free because if you like hot sauce you already got a ton of these bottles and I'm gonna show you we have a ton of these bottles just old bottles everybody uses uh, hot sauce in this house so we got a lot of old bottles I'm gonna show you how to clean these bottles out and then fill them up take this 
uh, identification tag off of it. So your bottles can look like these bottles. So we're gonna do that. One second, we'll come right back. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get some old bottles. And all I've done is I've just soaked this overnight. You can see this. Uh, not not trying to, <laughs> just reuse it. Not trying to show the name of the product, but you can see, soak it overnight, a little soapy water, and you kind of get this effect, all right? Not all of them come off that easy, but you get the drift. Basically, we need some bottles. We need some hot sauce bottles. Um, a way to clean the inside, basically once you put your, I like to put a little bit of Clorox and you basically just push it under the water. If you push it under the water, it'll, it'll just accept water in through the little hole. Once you get you some water in there, whatever you like it at. We're gonna clean the inside and the outside. All right, so inside gets clean really fast, just shaking it up. And you can see, I can show you, a, I'm gonna show you an older bottle and how fast it actually can get cleaned in there. Basically, you just let it all out. I'll show you how to clean that out faster than that with a drip. All right, so while we're cleaning that, you can take a knife and a knife is just gonna because you gotta start getting that glue so you take a knife and you just get that glue all the way from around it. always always reusing is so much easier than going to the store and looking for them where they at how we gonna find them on Amazon we already got them. Perfect bottles. Now I wouldn't, now if you was giving this to somebody or buying this for somebody, well you would have to go find some new stuff. But since this is just for us in our house, you don't have to get anything new. Then I take like a little, a little scraper, pot scratcher, and that's just a, whatever I didn't get with that. Normally, it'll come off so basically you have a nice fresh put it there got a nice fresh bottle now the inside you can take on as long as you turn on your um, faucet a small enough string it'll go straight in the bottle this is how I clean the bottles up. Nice warm water. Nice stream. Can even go up a little bit more than that. Not gonna bore you with that. Keep doing that. Keep dumping your bottles out until it actually gets uh, hold it upside down until it actually gets cleaned out. I would say leave it hanging uh, in your little water uh, dish, your dish rack. Let it dry out in the dish rack overnight and then we'll go right back to the next step. We're gonna fill this up with not water. We're gonna fill it up with some fire water. One sec. All right, so now that you're back, I'm gonna show you, this is what I like to use. I like to use apple cider vinegar um, in my hot sauce or fire water. You can also use regular distilled vinegar, as long as it says distilled vinegar. The reason why I say that is because when you look on the back of most hot sauce packages, look at the ingredients, and if you can get yours close to theirs, you're gonna have the same thing they have, right? Um, so if we look in our ingredients right here, I'm gonna see if I can get that in for y'all. I hope you can see that. But look at the ingredients. It's just, uh, what, aged peppers and distilled vinegar and salt. So if you take some peppers 
age them in distilled vinegar and salt, you're gonna basically get the same thing, some hot sauce, all right? So, as I was telling you, this is what Bev's did. Some garlic in there. This is regular banana peppers. Basically, I like, like I said, I like to use turmeric since we grow turmeric. So, I'm gonna show you how to add this all together and make something a little bit more that looks, you know, doesn't have all the stuff in it, just the water. So basically I'm gonna just I'm gonna just take this. If you got a mask, use it. If you're not using an uncovered blender, I have like a hand blender that I used last time and it messed me up for about a week because that pepper and stuff gets into your lungs and your chest and it will not leave because it's so fine. Alright, so I got this, a little ninja blender. Mm -hmm. Let me wash this mm -hmm. off. Basically, you put that in. I'm gonna untop it. Ah. Been a while since I. Ah. All right, so 20 minutes later, a hammer and a monkey wrench. And I finally got it off of my hand. It's killing me now. All right, so finally got off. They kind of been on there a little too long. So shouldn't have had this on there that long. Or at least that tight. All right, so this is what we got inside. It's been sitting a while. I'm gonna put this back on, wipe around this ring. I don't want any of that getting inside. And then I'll come right back and we'll finish the process. So that was probably on there for a good while. Um, but this is what we got. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take our blender, pour everything in our blender, mix it up really, really well, and then we can use a bowl or another glass like this. And you're gonna need some sort of little injector, like the flavor injector. Everything in there. Be careful, keep your eyes away. Keep everything away. Just gonna blend it up, that's it. You see how that's looking? Blending up real fast. Let me stop. That way you can see. When they, when they say when you do hot sauce, you should have a blender that's dedicated just to doing the hot sauce, but I didn't feel like unpacking a new one. Alright, so you could just let this set, ev settle. Eventually, all of this will go down. Um, but if you don't want to do that, then it's another way to just separate it by pouring it into a smaller jar or glass. To keep it from having to wait, get you a strainer. And I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this method. Alright, so you just take that, get as much of the liquid as you can out of it, and move it over. Let's pour some more. This is by far the easiest way to do it. Right, let me get a little bit more of that liquid. And I'm going to let it set. I'll move it over there. And all you're going to do is reuse that. Uh, you'll just take that, pour it right back into here when you finish. So now you got this. Pretty, pretty, pretty clean mixture. It's, it's a little bit more orangey red because remember I used the uh, orange uh, habaneros and the red ghost peppers. So now all you got to do is get your bottle that you've been had sitting in your uh, dish dryer, kind of drying out. And now is the easy part. You basically finish. Take your syringe. Y'all should be able to see that, but let me put you this way. Take your syringe. Let me see if I should ease it. Oh my God, here we go. 
Fill your syringe right in your hole. And that's it. Just skeet it down in there. So I'm going to fill up one bottle. Probably should have gloves on for this, even though, especially eyewear, like I said, those that are real sensitive, respiratory issues, use a mask. Please use a mask. Once you finish with this, all you're going to do is take this and add this back to your, your bottle and just add more vinegar to it. Whether you want to use the apple cider vinegar or the distilled vinegar. You don't have to add any more ingredients. All the ingredients are already there, already chopped up. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> I should have had it on to start with. All right, so now I got the mask on. I should have had it on to start with, but that's it. Basically, you keep going and you end up with your fire water. We'll do a little bit more. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Now you got your fire water and you're done. Use your mask to start with. Don't be like me. Thank y'all for watching. And as always, grow your own hot sauce. Grow, grow, grow. Peace.